Hello and welcome back to What Once Was. I've been yard sailing and such things again and wanted to run down what it is that I've picked up. It's getting closer and closer to winter so yard sales are going to get more and more scarce. So I will probably be doing more thrift store find videos in the near future and I've got a little bit of that mixed in here actually. Starting off, the Jewish Book of Why, two book box set, volumes one and two. And I opened these up and took a look at it. And you know how you can tell when you got a brand new book and you first crack that spine. And you know nobody's been in there. These are brand new condition. And I paid $2 for that. And it's probably worth $15 to $17 maybe. Videos, a dollar a piece. Well, two for The Simpsons. But a buck each for... Flashpoint and New Adventures of Batman, which is actually, if you remember, way back in the day, the old Batman cartoon show that used to play on, I think, like ABC. A buck a piece for these two, and they're probably worth about 15 each. The Simpsons is uh, the head box, season six. Discs look brand new. Two dollars for that, and it's probably worth about 12 to 15 as well. This unfortunate looking horse that has all of these spots all over it, which I believe are from soda being spilled on it, is Silver by Galoob, 1973 Lone Ranger's horse, complete. He's got his uh, saddle and bridle and everything. And it is soda, and it does come off, and I'm going to show you here, flip him over. I've already started on him, and you can see his hip is completely clean. The rest of him will be that clean because this is not that hard to clean off. And he was a dollar. And once he is back, oh, there he goes, he's dead now. Once he gets back restored, he will probably be worth about 25. And since he is a hard plastic, you can take like a used Brillo pad actually and scrub where it looks really bad. But otherwise I would use a soft sponge but he can take it with a with a, uh, a used Brillo pad that isn't too rough as you can see nice and smooth it hasn't scratched him or anything the Lego movie boxed set by Lego which cost me about 15 bucks it had been opened the tape has been broken on the side the the box flap is perfect but the tape was open as you can see but inside here all of the bags are still sealed it's unused and this is like a an eighty dollar set so for fifteen bucks that isn't bad because it'll still sell for the eighty dollars seventy five to eighty bucks for the lego movie boxed set and when you sell legos you see how there's a serial number there seven zero eight one five always put the serial number when you sell a box set of Legos because sometimes that's the only way they can track it There's, if you're listing like say eBay or something there'll be thousands of Lego sets on there if somebody's looking for something specific that'll help them narrow it down Mr. Krabs I paid a dollar for Mr. Krabs he's probably only worth five but I'm gonna trade him I'm not selling him he'll do better in trade Monchi Chi baby boy and he is really clean he's like new condition and these were popular in the early part of the 80s if you're a product of the 80s you remember Monchichi it's a little monkey and he sucks his own thumb and I guess that's cute as long as it's not your own kid doing it he's missing his bonnet he should have a bonnet on his head and he was 50 cents and minus the bonnet he's probably worth about 15 bucks if he had the bonnet he might get as much as 25 another Stein I'm always finding these and this is by Stoffel stoneware made in Germany and it's super clean unused probably displayed only like most Steins and that was two dollars and it is probably worth about 30 maybe 35 these came from a thrift store these came from actually Goodwill and you see I paid roughly twenty dollars a piece for them brand new in the box sealed 
remote controlled transformers that transform by remote. How fascinating. But all kidding aside, I typically, I, you know, you try not to spend as much as possible. You try to keep it low, but I tolerated spending $20 a piece on these two because they will still sell for roughly $75 each, brand new in the box like that. So to throw down $20 a piece, it was worth the effort. Now these came in a box and there was a bunch of Pez and the other Pez were all junk and so I'm not showing those to you. I am showing you these. These are much more important. Now the box was 20 bucks. So it was, the, it was from an estate sale and they thought that it was worth that and it was. Now important things to notice about Pez. These have no feet. That's what they call a, a Pez with no feet because they put built-in stands on them later on but originally they came like that and the older ones have no feet and those are the ones that collectors really want because modern Pez are a dime a dozen actually I probably should have brought one of the other ones out so I could show you feet but that's okay I'm sure you know what I'm talking about because they sell these everywhere modern Pez are a dime a dozen vintage Pez are harder to find and obviously more desirable by collectors this is what they're looking for when you advertise Pez also make sure you say where it's from this one says Austria and research it so you know who it is that's Mr. Ugly Mr. Ugly clown with the long chin this is a, a duck and he should have a flower on top of his head it's missing unfortunately it snaps on so if someone has a flower they can fix that and that's something else about these Pez they can come apart and you can do whatever with them now what are we looking at for value? Why would I pay $20? I would have paid 20 just for these. Now this is the Pez Boy and he doesn't have anything either. Those holes are for accessories. They came with a hat or hair. You know, you could put things on him. A mustache. See there's a hole in his nose. Pez Boy without the stuff, but his mechanism is fully functional. Probably $20. So I already made my money back. The duck, because a little bit of sticker residue that looks like something sticky on there. Well, whatever. The duck without his hat could be 40 to 50. The clown could get 50 to 65. He is fully intact. Not missing anything. Really looks great. And all of these have a functional mechanism. See, the springs still work. Mr. Ugly is probably worth about $40. Another thing to keep in mind is if you find vintage Pez and there's something wrong with them, if they're cheap enough you might still want to get it because if the stem is intact a collector could still use that stem. The stem, the springs, anything from these to restore one that's, that's not in great shape. And Pluto here um, is I'm gonna see if I if you can spot it you see how you can actually see the slide moving inside there it's because this is a translucent uh, case which means it's a much older version of Pluto and he could be 60 to 100 so that was an excellent find and that is what I did this week I hope your picking has been as good